Bentley has a, a great empathy and, and uh, for other people. She's not afraid to speak up and say, well, I don't think that's right. Having the ability to go out into the community as PLA does to the chateau or to the veterans home or go read to the animals at the Humane Society is tremendous for their socialization skills. It's just amazing. These kids can talk to anybody intelligently and her self-esteem has just grown by leaps and bounds. And it's just amazing to see the, the wonderful young girl that she's really becoming. The decision we made for Bentley to come to Prodigy, she was unhappy. Every day she cried going to school and every day she complained on the way home and she was going to the school where her mama taught and as time went on my husband and I realized something needed to change and we wanted somewhere where she would be nurtured, have a um, smaller size classroom, more hands-on teachers and I will never forget ever picking Bentley up the first day of school and was ready to hear her uncertainty like I'd heard for so long and I asked her, Boo, how was the first day of school? And she looked at me, I looked in the rearview mirror and saw and she smiled and she said, Mom, I have to tell you this. And she was a fourth grader. And I said, what? She said, when it came to lunchtime, I just stood there, I didn't know where to sit. And two high school girls came up to me and said, you can sit over here. We don't leave people alone at Prodigy. And that was the beginning of the amazing experience for Bentley. Not only was she welcomed by students and staff, she was nurtured, her self-confidence soared, and in one step at a time, it brought back that little girl I knew she was and, and gave her more potential of what she could be. <laughs> My biggest hope for Bentley um, surprisingly enough, even though I'm a teacher myself, is not necessarily academic. It's, it's whole person mentality. I want her um, to be kind. I want her to be service oriented. I want her to keep having a love for the Lord. I want her to take opportunities like she did this past summer in Honduras. What I want for her is a wholeness that only God can provide and the opportunities that, and the doors that God opens up. Bentley, your mom and I are so proud of you. Anything you put your mind to, you can do. Bentley, I believe in you. I always have and I always will. You are capable of anything. I've watched you grow so much these past five years and I'm so excited for the future that God has for you. I'm so excited to see the doors he's going to open up and most importantly, I'm so excited that I think you'll have a willingness to walk through them and maybe even run through them. I can't wait. My name is Bentley Nader and I'm 14 years old. I think I've learned to collaborate with students well because before I came here I didn't like working with students and I wasn't very good at it. I like just going to the community and just different places. Maybe sometimes I don't feel that great about myself but I still can address people in a way that I'm confident. The teacher supporting me and telling me to be confident helps a lot. Trying just because it's not fun doesn't mean it won't be fun in the future because you'll have an education and you'll be successful with your life. Like, you can be who you are. You don't have to hide your true self. Um, thanks for encouraging me every day and standing up for me and believing that I can do my best and helping me do my best. Dad, thank you for asking me questions about my school day every single day. Just thank you for everything. I love you both so much.